Good morning, everybody. This is Val with This Is How You Do It. And I am up this morning. And I'm finna start my day getting my cup of coffee. And I have put my decorations up. So, we're going to walk and get us a fresh cup of coffee. And I'm just taking you along with me this morning. Well, you know, this is Willie Big Cup. And this is my little cup right here. I say little cup. But I'm going to set that to the side. Go in the cabinet. Well. And get a cup. So, we can uh, get our cup of coffee together. I'm just going to fix one this morning. I take uh, one sugar and one cream. One scoop, that is. This scoop. And then we're going to go in the diva space and get ready. Since it's Christmas time, that month that is, I thought I would uh, take you in there for some Christmas lightings. Been looking at my videos and my face been looking mighty fat in the camera <laughs> look at your girl mm -hmm. looking like color bad big grandbaby i took my hair down yesterday because i was with the man y'all and i took that i took my uh my twist down well this is what it looked like the next day and i just thought i'd come before you <laughs> and that's it let me see I was saying golly bell your face looking mighty doggone fat I say well maybe I got the camera zoomed in on me what y'all think mm, let me see you know, it's, it's halfway y'all maybe, maybe I can make the face look a little skinny how about that how about that, that? y'all like looking at my face don't you? I think I have it pulled up like that because I be trying to show my makeup, my eyes, my smiles, and <laughs> Kyle was, Scott was like, "Golly, Val, your face mighty fat in that camera." And then I was wondering, did the camera put on ten pounds on me, y'all? Well, the reason I was wondering that because you know it's the holidays and all of that good stuff. And somebody asked me about my walking. I, I have not been out walking for per se up and down Billingsley Avenue or Billingsley Road. What I've been doing, I do have a treadmill in the house, but for the holidays when Alex came home, I stood the treadmill up in one one of the one of the uh, guest bedrooms. I, it's not laying down so you can walk on. I stood it up on this end, high end. end. And and I haven't walked on it since the holidays. So your girl is not a perfect girl. Your girl is not jumping up and down every day, walking like a like a crazed person. So, but I do exercise, walking back and forth to the Grand Villa and picking up all of that wood and 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 at when I when I come home, my feet be sore, my body be sore, I be aching. So I am getting exercise in, and sometimes I walk back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I am getting exercise in. It's just not that kind of exercise. Yeah. And somebody asked me about me doing my walking so I can do my talking while I walk. Because when I walk, I think. Well, I can still do that, you know. That's what, that's what I told them. But, uh, and then I thought about 
I heard that um, during the holidays, people retains, uh, you hear me, retains 25 pounds of waste, figure matter, bowels. They need to have a good laxative to cleanse themselves out because the holidays, they pack on 25 pounds. A detox and that's why they, they try to be so nice and, and uh, proper with the situation a cleanse and yeah well I just thought I'd throw that out there y'all because you know you got that walking around here with 25 pounds on you you may need to let that go well Hey. I'm just playing around, y'all. I'm not talking about nothing. I start decorating in the Grand Villa. I got some. It's covered with the black felt. It's covered from the top all the way down to the sides. It's covered. And I took a picture of it, camera of it, but. Then I'm going to do some more to it today and I'm going to splice all that stuff together to show you um, the cover on the top, then probably the tables on the inside, then the the, uh, the drapes around it. You know, it's coming back to itself. You know what I mean? It's nothing but a better self. It is so tall and so strong right now. I'm very excited. But then I wanted to come before you and talk to you because I might, uh, I'm not going to uh, do a Grand Villa video right now. I'm think I, I think I want to uh, show you in stages of it getting back together then just show one big, one, not big, but one film of it. I hope it ain't too big, y'all. Mm. So if you sitting around looking at your girl. And she ain't talking about nothing. Y'all having coffee. Y'all getting ready to, to work. Hmm. Y'all enjoy your holiday. Enjoy your family. I know people say that. And people say you miss them when they're gone. But, and I, even though some of us may have lost our family members, try to enjoy what you have right now. Because if you're dwelling in the past, you can't enjoy the future. Yeah, I'm not saying you won't think about it, but there's a lot to be grateful for with what you already have. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It really is. I mean, sometimes the um, dark clouds seem really dark, but then there's a light somewhere around you, even if it just comes from within. Do something for yourself. If you're by yourself, do something for yourself. Treat yourself with love and kindness. Um, do something for you. Do something for you. And it don't always take money to do something for you to make yourself feel special. You know. Yeah. A hot cup of something, you know. Well, you say, well, I don't drink cocoa, I don't drink coffee, I don't drink tea. Well, try it. So well, I ain't had cocoa since I was a child. Get you some cocoa, honey. Don't worry about no all this diet. I ain't talking. I'm talking about one time. I ain't talking about overdo it, y'all. Get you some marshmallows. Put that stuff in there. Put a little something, syrup, cinnamon, uh, sugar, whatever you want to put on it. High cup of cocoa. Sit in front of the TV. Wrap up in a blanket and sip you some cocoa. Light your incense or a candle and make the house smell real pretty. If you ain't got a, a that, I heard that you can take some vanilla extract, put it in uh, some water on the stove and boil it really low and make your house smell fabulous. I don't know, man. Might want to try it. Because mm -hmm. I was thinking about I need to get my feet done. My feet so, so, y'all. 
uh, walking back and forth. I asked Willie because I thought everybody's feet get sore left from walking. But but when I come home, like from walking back and forth in the Grand Villa, when I do make it in the house and I, I relax and then when I get up to go get something, just walking on my feet, the bottom of my feet. I don't have calluses or, or risings or anything like that, but to stand on them, my feet are sore. And I have to limp. And I say, golly, everybody don't be like that. Sometimes people, that's not a complaint. But sometimes when we go through something, we think everybody go through it. Honey, everybody ain't going through what you go through. Everybody don't understand what you're going through. And sometimes you just have to treat yourself. You know what you're going through. Treat yourself with some kindness. Don't let people run over you. Don't let people push you further than you're able to go. Let your yes be yes, your no be no, and that's it. Say, I will do this, or I will not do this, and let that be that. Because sometimes people will have you running and running and running. you waiting on this person, you're waiting on that person, you're waiting on this person. You're wearing yourself ragged, and you're not taking time for yourself. Sometimes you have to say no. And some of us, it is hard for some of us to say no. Because we're used to waiting on people. We'll, and I'm talking to the women. Women are caregivers. Women will wait on people until they get so tired. And then there's nobody to wait on them. Treat yourself as kind as you treat others. Hmm. And I'm going to leave that with y'all and say this is valid. This is how you do it. And she going to treat herself with a little bit of kindness. And then she going up to the grand building. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye now. <laughs>